Hey guys, Thomas Asua Jr. here, aka Mustache Tom, and I'm here to do my first movie review, and I'm gonna be reviewing Annie. So, as you, as some people may know, or very little people may know, I don't know how many people are watching, but I'm not much of a reviewer or critic quite yet. It's not under my name, I don't put critic under my name or anything like that, so it's very hard to say that. I'm going to be critiquing this movie as much as just talking about it and saying whether or not I liked it or stuff like that. So I thought Annie was actually a pretty good movie. This uh, remake, or yeah, just remake, uh, I think it did its job. No, I did a quick scan of um, other reviews and a lot of people seem to be a little bit more, um, I guess, critical of it. And, um, I don't know, I just didn't, I personally didn't find too, too much wrong with it. Um, like, if I were to say, if I were to prove any two things, there are two musical numbers in this, uh, movie that I think could have used a little bit more work. Other than that, I think the movie was actually, uh, pretty well done. Um, I mean, for the most part... I'm looking at this as a musical, so that's why I'm saying, like, that's sort of like the, the top thing I'll be talking about is sort of the music, so, because that is sort of the main focus of the movie, it's a musical, so, the, like I said, the only two songs, I can't remember what their names were, but, um, the one song where, uh, Annie was singing on the mic, and then the other one where they're in the helicopter were the only two songs where I really thought they could have been done a little bit better. And when I say the first one, I'm talking about, like, I felt like they should have done, like, a sound check or something. Because it sounded a bit different. Like, I felt like the microphone was, like, giving off, like, a separate sound. And then it was just, it felt a bit different in that sort of way. And it, was, it felt like, almost like she was actually trying to sing in that moment. Even though most of the songs are obviously pre-recorded and stuff like that. But, um... I just thought that one, that particular song, could have used, like, maybe she should have backed up from the mic. I don't know. Like, I don't know what would have improved that song for me, but, um, the other song took place in the helicopter, as I said, and I kept thinking to myself, that is, like, the most bizarre place to sing a song. I mean, I don't think you would be hearing the lyrics of any song if you're in a helicopter that's making all that noise, but, um... That's more of a nitpick more than anything, but, and, um, like, I didn't find myself entranced by the song or anything, so, and in that sense, I guess it's sort of like, oh, it's just, they're just getting along better, and they're sort of saying that the tone is theirs or whatever, but the, the other songs were, like, I felt like the other songs, they really, uh, did their best, like, uh, Hard Not Life. I, I'm pretty sure I just said that wrong, but, um, you know, I thought, like, the choreography was pretty neat, they went inside and outside, did all this cleaning stuff while they were singing, very, uh, I almost felt, like, very true to what, like, something I would want to see in the original, and I think that, that's something that was very similar, but I can't recall if it was, like, that similar or not, but, um, I don't think that matters too, too much. Um, what other songs were there? Um, uh, uh, The Sun Will Come Out Tomorrow was a, it's an obvious big one for a lot of people, so I think that that one was done really well and nice and early. Um, I just thought, like, the characters made sense, like, I mean, I know they, they kind of went for, like, a happy ending where, like, one of the characters changes. I'm talking about the, uh, the woman that looks after them, the one that's played by Cameron Diaz. Uh, I mean, not Cameron Diaz, but, um, oh, was it Cameron Diaz? I don't know. Um, I think so. Anyways, um, yeah, I can't really think of much else to say in this uh, little thing. Like I said, I think I like I liked it for the most part, and I don't know. I think like a lot of reviews for this particular movie are a little bit uh, too hard on the movie. I kind of want to say. I mean, like 
it's a kids movie, so I think like a lot of I think like a lot of people sometimes forget things like that when they're critiquing movies. I don't know. Like I I was just looking at one, so I could be wrong. Uh, but I was seeing like a lot of other stuff in like the news, but all this like stupid, stupid stuff. Like oh, this movie is racist. No, it's just like no of course it's not gonna be racist that doesn't even make any sense uh i really thought the beginning of this movie it was did something really clever in fact i thought the whole having the first annie be the one to come up and then she does like a presentation and then there just happens to be another annie and that's the annie we're following and that's the main character of the story i thought that was actually really clever i was like oh like, play homage to the original, but say, this is a new story. This is the 2015 version. This is not supposed to be the original. This is supposed to be retold in a new way. Like, the technology that was used in this movie, all that stuff, was supposed to be uh, represented in, the, in these years. Something you would expect to see in this time. And it fits. So I think this movie, for what it did in that sense, I thought it was actually really clever. Um, so yeah, I think people who can check this out, uh, the people who watched the original Annie will probably actually really enjoy this if they enjoyed the original. Uh, I think, as I said, I think since this is more geared toward kids, kids will I think kids will really enjoy this movie. It has a positive message all that good stuff so I, I actually really enjoyed this movie I didn't find as much as wrong with it as a lot of other people so I'm gonna give this movie out of the big hundred score since I I guess I'm doing a score thing I'll give it a nice 80 out of a hundred I think this movie is a B a solid B in my book uh, like I said I don't think a lot of people when they were critiquing it thought oh this is a movie for a kid so we have to be super hard on it and stuff I don't know I mean that is a critics job I guess but I mean at the same time it's a kids movie so there's sort of for me it's always sort of a balance between trying to say well this movie can use a little bit of improvement here and it could and this is where the movie shined that's the that those are the things that I'm looking for when I'm critiquing a movie in, in its most basic form so I think that about sums it up um, from this review uh, I'm gonna be reviewing a bunch of other movies if anybody has any suggestions on what movie I should review just keep in mind that I'm trying not to review movies that just just came out but this movie's been out for a little bit now so I thought it would be a really good movie to start off my uh, reviews my movie reviews and I'll be doing one other review uh, that I have planned but um I want to know like if there's any other movies that you guys want to see me review um, get my thoughts and feelings on it let me know in the comments and uh, that'll be really helpful so this has been Thomas Sue Jr. aka Mustache Tom and I'll see you guys next time